up guys, welcome back to another video of the White Point Extra Group video series. Today we're in Edmond to tour this incredible shop. Uh, the house is obviously for sale, but the shop's what we're gonna show you today. So we'll link the description and the website for the house down below, you can check that out. But Dale, homeowner, has a huge passion for cars and we're gonna see his incredible working shops, not just for, for looks, it's not just a museum, right? You actually <laughs> have worked on cars in That's this right. place, but appreciate you having us. Um, Wyatt taught me a lot about you and your passion for cars. And once I saw the photos, I said, we've got to come check this place out. So uh, <laughs> super excited to, to show you, you know, to show the, show the, the people watching your passion. And, and obviously, you know, we've got a lot of memorabilia in here. Any car guy will know that there's uh, there's some really cool stuff in here. There's even pictures of women on the wall, which we might not show you all of that, uh, but you might recognize them. Tell us first where your passion for cars begins. Well, I've always been a car guy. Yeah. Ford, but all cars, and. Uh, always had a small garage to work out of and, mm -hmm. you know, cramped and so forth. So when we built this home, yeah. I wanted to plan this out a long time to have a place where I could work and, yeah. and uh, plenty of room, elbow room, and it turned out really well. Yeah. Uh, have you always been a Ford guy or, I mean, you, is there some Ford stuff in here? There's some Chevy stuff in here. I've had them all. Cars, cars in general. <laughs> I've had them all, but cars in general. Yeah. yeah. What for you is that, you know, when someone says to you, like, what's your first kind of car, your first car memory, what comes to mind? Oh, you know, I, your first car always, yeah. uh, an economical, most people don't know what a Ford Maverick is, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was my first uh, car. And I had a Ford Falcon and a lot of Fords early on, like yeah. Chevrolets and Pontiacs and all of that. Yeah. yeah. Was there a, like a, a memory or a kind of event that happened that you, you kind of had like, you know, like got taken out in someone's car and the need for speed? Oh, and street abso racing, absolutely. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. in my hometown, we had an original Ford Cobra. Okay. And I watched it on, racing on a track and... Yeah. Uh, that's, I think many people want that. You said you, yeah, I, you're looking I, I for want one. one. Yeah, no doubt. So, I, don't, uh, I mean, I don't, have, I, don't, um, <laughs> I don't have the money for a real one. About, very, well, few, neither did very few I. people do, right? Neither did I, but uh, 10 years ago I bought one yeah. and I found out quickly they don't take care of themselves. Right. Yeah. So the lift was absolutely essential mm -hmm. to get under the car. And as you get older, you got to have a lift, even change it oil, whatever. Yeah. So it's, it was, uh, Plus, the good thing about the lift, I can put a car there if bad weather's coming in. Right. Put the car here, lift it, put a car underneath. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the garage can easily fit <coughs> two yeah. cars as well. Yeah. So I can put five cars in the, in the drive. And wife comes out and she's like, why do you have three cars? She's like, honey, I have room. They're not all mine, I promise. Right? <laughs> That's right. Which is awesome. But, I mean, there's so many things in here that we can talk about. Photos on the wall, memorabilia you've collected over the years. Uh, I guess what, what for you is like, some of the pieces that really stand out that like prized possessions that you're definitely taking with you? Um, well, you know, the neon, I yeah. kind of want that. I picked that out uh, slowly over time. All this accumulated like mm -hmm. anybody uh, over time. And, uh, you know, there's some, it's mixed to pictures and parts of um, what my about family. Your first car over here? Oh, my first car. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. That's a, that's a 57 model. Yeah. <laughs> I've got pictures uh, of me in it as a child and my son and now my granddaughter. That's awesome. So yeah, that's, so that's kind cool. of special. Yeah. But obviously you mentioned working shop. There's not yep. just the lift. There's plenty yep. of room, uh, you know, and other stuff in here. Yep. So you could take a look inside what you, like, when you built this, you knew that you were going to be working. Yeah, and built in, you know, built an extra little hangout in here, right? There's so That's much right. stuff we can this, talk about. This uh, is what I call the welding shop. Yeah. Uh, my father was a welder, and I do a lot of metal work, I should say. Yeah. So this was all pre-planned as a separate room, heated and cooled, even though the rest of the shop is is uh, ready for that yeah, too. Yeah. But we've got these these benches. These are from an old uh, school. Mm -hmm. uh, we put these in and in in the top, and of course, lots and lots of plugins yeah. and lots of lighting. So right. there's, I don't know, maybe a dozen switches for the lights mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, plenty of power, 200 amp service. Yeah. So we're not going to run out. All the things from my past that I wanted to <laughs> make sure I didn't run out, air compressor, it's, you're not going to run out of air in this right. shop yeah, yeah. with air drops throughout. 
Yeah. And uh, was yeah. this bench from Oklahoma or was it from Iowa? Well, the the actually the um, these are from Texas. Mm -hmm. The okay. drawers, okay, from a high school lab. And then I put the we put the top on, um, you know, okay. to complete. Out, yeah. Now, obviously, there's plenty of photos in here of mm -hmm. cobras and stuff, but we, we, we share a passion, right? You, yeah. you, you have a picture of your own yeah. backdraft cobra on the wall. The backdraft cobra, yeah. and uh, it's, it's actually featured in a book, okay. Cars, Cars of Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why why did you decide to buy that? Of all the cars you could you could want Well, like to buy I said, and... it goes back to my youth. Sure. It's certain cars in your mind, like the Jaguar XKE. Yeah. Don't buy that. <laughs> hard, yeah. hard to work Unreliable on. Unreliable British car. Unless you got a lot of money, don't right. buy that. Um, but that's just one of the dreams that mm -hmm. I was able to um, fulfill. Yeah. yeah. Scared you a little bit driving it? You know, it did a, a, a little bit, right? but they're very controllable. Mm -hmm. And uh, my Mustang, actually, I'm a little less comfortable in it. Than, really? Yeah, it's a heavier car yeah. and it was, um, suited me well. Yeah. So, so working in, you know, being kind of, I guess this is like your getaway, right? You know, you go yeah. to work every day and, and, you know, you come home and you have this space and spend so many times and, and memories in this space. Yeah. Um, it's going to be probably sad to let it go, but I'm sure well, the new house be, will have something It's going to be very big, sad. Right? It's very sad. In fact, uh, we're moving to Washington. Mm -hmm. We plan to. That's why we're selling. Yeah. So much of this house, we have our, this is our house, forever house. Mm -hmm. So I've already got a shop planned <laughs> in Washington, and we've got a couple acres there, and yeah. much of this will be duplicated there. Right. Do you have any pieces in here? I know you mentioned the neon earlier. Do you have any pieces in here that... I know you have a really cool story behind them, how you got them, why you have them, anything that stands out? <clears throat> well, yeah, there's a few things. I mean, these are things that are of a personal nature. Yeah. That's my uh, driver's licenses from my grandparents. Yeah. And I, I've oh, got cool. over there, I've got hunting licenses <clears throat> from my grandparents and photos, family photos. Mm -hmm. um, didn't you say the Easy Rider poster was <laughs> from? <laughs> yeah, that was above my bed growing up. Yeah. That was, yeah. Re Palmer. Real time when the movie was on, and uh, you know, just things like Muhammad Ali in, in my era, old yeah, guy yeah. era. Uh, you know, old license kind of plates. Old license plates. Uh, I got my first license plate in there, which was uh, a scary place to be <laughs> when I was growing up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's just bits and pieces and. Picture of my hometown. Yeah. Uh, downtown Main Street, oh, cool. a panoramic view and from Iowa. Uh, Who's this guy? That'd be me. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Patrick Swain. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. When was that taken? Uh, that was when I was in uh, an apartment in Dallas. Okay. Yeah. Some time ago. Yeah. It's It always amazes me that, you know, people like yourself that, you know, like, you collect things, right? And, and a lot of, so many of us over time, you know, we wish we had this, we wish we had the toys that we had as kids, we wish we had our bedroom poster. Like, you, over the time, you just kind of decided, I'm gonna collect everything, and I'm, I, I mean, Yeah, it just why? kind of, kind of uh, grew into it, yeah. you know? And in fact, the shop was pre-planned with switches, mm -hmm. uh, like you see here, for, yeah. Neon. I knew I was going to put neon. So throughout, I have yeah. switches that put, open up the plugs on the walls for the, for so the neon. Awesome. I love it. I mean, as a, as a car guy and someone who sees a spot like this and someone who you know, would like, like if I were to be in the market to buy a house, yeah. you want to buy a house that already has a shop in it yeah. that's ready to go, don't you? Well, and you know, like this bench. Yeah. I ain't moving it. <laughs> it's like this, yeah. 500 pounds. I yeah. took four neighbors to get it in here. Yeah. Uh, but it's a, if you, metal work, right. it's just such a nice flat place to do welding and yeah. uh, things like that. So I know obviously the Cobra is a huge part of, of kind of your life and, and you, you, know, you own the backdraft one. But other than an original Cobra, what, I mean, what is the, what is the dream car that you would have? You know, it's funny. Uh, as you get older, you move on. Yeah maybe a little bit away from the classics and more stuff with warranty. <laughs> yeah, something comfortable. Because <laughs> these, yeah. these hands are getting a little yeah. soft. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Probably I've always, I just got a Mustang that's still new to me. Yeah. And, uh, 
you know, yeah. I really, I've, I've kind of gone through a lot of um, mm -hmm. the stuff that I wanted to do. Cobra and, was probably it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was kind of yeah. it because uh, just like a, when I had a motorcycle, <laughs> you know, once I got rid of it, I'm done. I had, yeah. I did that. Yeah, you went from one death trap to another death yeah. trap. Right? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I survived <laughs> I for survived the most it, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Well, what what I know we've been in this side. What <clears throat> stuff have we missed on the outside? Yeah. Obviously, there's plenty of room that side to That's park. Right. Mm -hmm. We can we can go and check that out on the other side. So obviously out in this second space that I'm sure you've put plenty of vehicles and cars and worked as, as well, but there's functional, you know, to this shop, right? You have switches, like you mentioned, everywhere for all the neon, but you know, we have power grid behind you, you have all the air and everything. Like it's not just when you're actually working on your own car, you don't yeah. want to be stringing stuff across no. the room. So you've built this for a purpose to work Absolutely. On stuff, is... And also I built it on the other side, right. a storage shed. I didn't want my lawnmowers and my mowers and all that stuff. Yeah. I wanted up. this to be kind of a, a nice show place uh -huh. and a functional place, but I didn't want it junked up. So I've got that on the other side. That on the other well. side. Yeah. 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 You don't want the mower or anything next no, to your prized no. possessions, right? You're That's cleaning right. it in here and That's you right. have dust and Oklahoma wind blowing grass everywhere, That's which right. is not good. But I'm, I'm trying to think of, is there anything in here that like really pops to me? And obviously the Gulf is, is so, so iconic you know, and, and Route 66 stuff as well. Uh, why, is there anything that stands out to you from like your childhood that you it's see and you think? Speakers I, from drive-ins. Speakers if, from drive yeah. If you're in that era. Mine would probably be the same as Kenan's and I don't know what he's gonna say. It's the Star Wars over the there, Star right? Star Wars, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but AC Cobra was always my favorite car growing up just yeah. because it was my father's. Yeah. And I remember a buddy bought one. Uh -huh. And he bought it from one of the New England Patriots. And it oh, was wow. painted like the New England Patriots. Steve Allen, the builder. Yeah. And I remember riding with him. And I got out and my, I touched that side <laughs> pipe. And I really <laughs> had a yeah. scar. And I thought, that yeah. would never happen again. Never happen again. I mean, again. it fried my leg. Yeah. Well, I just enjoyed seeing it sitting still mm -hmm. when I still owned it. Right. Yeah. And um, I miss it a little. But that's yeah. when you know you really love your car. When you look back at it, walking yeah. away from that's it. That's right. right. And you just, oh, I still I love it. But. Hopefully one day I'll have to, I'll send you a message when I get one because it's going to happen. I don't know how long I'll have one for, but I just have to take, take that off the list. You have to plan to drive those because the top right. is non-existent, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's yeah. not a practical car. It's not a practical <laughs> car. No, my wife's like, why don't you buy one with a roof? And you, you don't understand. Yeah. Uh, but no, I appreciate you having us over to show us this awesome man my cave. Pleasure. I, it is a man cave. It's, I'm pretty it's, proud you know, of this place. I enjoy showing it off. And people yeah, that have interest too. makes it uh, oh, more no. fun for no. me. No doubt it is. And, and like, like we mentioned earlier, we'll put the links and the website to the listing so you guys can check out the rest of the house. Um, no doubt you know, the rest of the house has as much care in it as you put into this incredible building. But really appreciate you having us. Thanks for, thanks for showing pleasure. off your, your, you know, your, your passion. And, and Ken is going to show us now, hopefully, some, some amazing B-roll of the neon because, <laughs> I mean, everyone loves neon lights and, and that stuff is is timeless, and it's you oh, don't yeah. see neon ever ever again, you know, because to people now it's too expensive to put them outside their buildings. But really appreciate you having us. Um, for everyone listening and watching, we'll put the link to the to the to the house, you know, so you can go check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.